In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create an accessibility dashboard. And what I mean by that is how can I create a dashboard that's useful for both colorblind and non-colorblind people? This came up yesterday as during the panel discussion during the Zenzon Tour event in Edinburgh. So first, let's go ahead and build a regular dashboard that we're used to. So let's do something like, maybe we want to look at sales by month. And we want to look at compare the years. Okay, so now we've got four years. And you see we just let it, we'll leave it default to Tableau's color palette. Okay, so let's call this sales by month. Let's create another one that is something like, maybe we want to just look at something as simple as profit by product category. And we'll take product category and um, actually let's go ahead and look at it by product subcategory. And let's sort. And let's color the product, product subcategories by product category. Okay, so let's call this profit by subcategory. And then maybe the last thing we do is we want to create a map. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a map. Let me fix my locations. Okay, and maybe this time we want to, let's just go ahead and color by profit. Something very, very simple. So let's call this profit by state. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to allow the user to sort of flip between different options. So um, what I'm going to do now is uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a parameter. And I'm just going to call it colorblind with a question mark. And I'm going to make it a string parameter, change it to a list, and then in the value section I'm going to put a space and I'm going to display that as yes. In the second value I'm going to put two spaces and I'm going to display that as no. Hit OK. And you'll see why I did that in a minute. So I can go ahead and show my parameter control and you'll notice I can flip back and forth between the views. Okay, So let's leave it as colorblind no for now. And now what I want to do is I want to create a calculated field and I'm going to basically need to uh, use this parameter to determine uh, what uh, what colors to show. So I'm just going to call this one year and I'm going to just say the year of order date and I'm going to convert that to a string plus my parameter. So that's going to basically tack a space or two spaces onto the end of the year. So I'm going to go ahead and take the year and put that on color and you'll see it looks the same and when I switch it to colorblind you'll see I get a different color palette. So I'm going to double click on my color legend, go to my colorblind palette, hit assign, and choose OK. And now my user can flip between a colorblind and a color and a non-colorblind dashboard or a view. So we go over a product subcategory and we can do the same thing. So this time I want to create a calculated field on product category. So I'll call this, I'll just call this one category. And again, I'm just going to do product category plus my parameter. So to the user, they can't notice those spaces, so it's OK. So I'm going to put category on the, on the uh, marks card. And now if I show my parameter control, you'll see right now I'm on the colorblind version. So I want to go ahead and select my colorblind palette, hit assign. And then my no color palette, that's OK. We can leave that one alone. And then lastly, we want to do it by state. So this one will be a little bit trickier. Uh, so what we're going to need to do here is, um, so I'm going to actually change this view. So what I want to look at is, let's, we don't want to use a map. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's just look at profit, uh, not even profit. Let's put profit in the columns and let's go ahead and sort this in descending order so we can see our most profitable states first. And this time, maybe we want to color code them by regions. Okay, so we want to know which regions are profitable and which regions are not. Okay, so let me change this. This is profit by region. And again, I'm just going to create another calculated field. And I'm just going to call this one regions plus colorblind. So it's region plus colorblind. Hit OK. Show my parameter control. Put this metric or put this dimension on the color instead. 
So colorblind, no. Colorblind, yes. I can go ahead and choose my colorblind palette. Hit assign. OK. And we're off and running. So now we can build a dashboard. So we can maybe put sales by month, sales by subcategory. And maybe we'll stick that over here. Oops. OK. Let's take this and put it up top. And then maybe sales by, by region over here. I'm going to go ahead and move these around so they're close to the objects they belong with. So put category with this one. Uh, it looks like I need to stick a container in here. So let's stick a vertical container. OK. And then lastly, we're going to put one more vertical container in here to put our profit by region in. OK. Not the best dashboard in the world, but that's OK for now. So let's go ahead and stick this there. Move it over, and then maybe we'll drag this down a little bit to give us a little bit more room. OK, there we go. So in this particular example, I'm going to go ahead and squish this down so we can get two in each. Oops, I don't know why that happened. That's OK. Move it over a little bit. Move this one over a little bit so it snaps in at the third. OK, there we go. OK, not the most beautiful dashboard in the world, but just I think you understand what I'm trying to get to here. So now I can drag that down, and then I can put that there. OK, there we go. So now I can easily switch between a colorblind and a non-colorblind dashboard. So that tip belongs to Craig Bloodworth. He showed that during the Zens panel. I would have actually done it a, a much more complicated way, um, but I think Craig's solution here is very elegant. And uh, again, to the users, they can't see that we added the spaces on the end. So again, that's a really easy way to create an accessibility uh, dashboard. Hope you found that helpful. Have a good day.